Hello, my name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to learn how to make a table of contents inside LaTeX. So as you can see, I'm already inside uh, LaTeX, my tech editor here called TechWorks. But um, before I actually show you how to make it, I want to show you what the final product looks like. Sometimes with coding, it's very hard to visualize exactly what your code is going to produce. So I'm going to show you the final product and then we'll go through it step by step as necessary. So right here is the PDF of our final product right here. And so right here is the table of contents. Um, and you know we're gonna have two chapters and inside each chapter we're gonna have two sections. That's how we're gonna do this. Now let me make this a little bit bigger for you so you can see hopefully. And so it's very, very plain and simple. Now, in order to get this information here, we have to actually produce an actual document. And so in the actual document, we're going to have some filler text inside each chapter. And so we're going to make a chapter one. We're going to call it the first example and then some dummy text and then section one, some dummy text, section two and some dummy text. And we'll continue this on with chapter two as well. So this is the final product of what we're going to make in this video. Now we're going to actually produce this and I will show you step by step how each piece of code produces something inside this example that you can see right here. So let me go back to my tech works here. So the first thing you always have to do is you begin with the preamble. We've talked about this before and we're going to make our document class and we're going to use a book. You can use whatever you want, article or whatever, but we're just going to use book and we need to use two packages. So the first package that we're going to use is Babel. We have to give it the optional argument of English because that's the language we're using. And then we have that like so. And then the second package that we're going to use is going to be blind text. That's going to give us some dummy text to put inside our pretend uh, chapters, if you will. So the preamble is basically done. And so now the next step, as you know, if you watched prior videos, is we're going to begin our actual document environment. So we do the backslash, or the, sorry, the forward slash, and we put document. Oops, sorry, I forgot to put out the curly brace there. And then I'm going to end it immediately because in my experience, I tend to forget to do this. So we do like so. So our document environment is created. Now, everything we do, as you know from looking at other LaTeX videos, needs to happen inside these two, I mean inside this environment, excuse me. So the first declaration or the first command we're going to use is table of contents. Now, right now, that's not going to do anything because we haven't put any actual headings inside our, our actual document yet or inside our book yet. So now we need to make our first heading or our first section or whatever you want to call it. So we're going to use chapter like so. And inside this, we're going to put the name of the chapter, the first example like so. And then we also, we're gonna put some blind text here. So we do another command, blind text like so. And let me just kind of show you what we've made so far. So this is what's happening. We've made this heading right here, chapter one, the first example, and we made this blind text right here. That's what we've done so far. So this is what's going to produce. If I wanted to print my document right now, this is what I would get. So I've showed you that, but I'm not quite done with chapter one. I need to do a section now. And we're going to call this section here another example and close it out like so. So that's what chapter one is going to be like. And oh, wait, we got to put our blind text here. Sorry. So now I think we're done with chapter one. There we go. Um, oh, we have two sections. Sorry about that. So one more section in chapter one and we're going to call this one the first example, another example, a different example. That's what we're going to call this. And then of course I need more blind text here like so. So let me show you what this should look like. Let me zoom out a little bit. So we have the first example, blind text. Another example, blind text. A different example, blind text. Chapter one is completed. This is what it will look like right now. And if I were to print or if I were to compile it, you would have all this information right here. From contents to first example to another example, a different example. Those are the three or the four pieces of information you would have right now if I compiled the document. 
but I would like to make one more chapter. So I continue what I've done before. This chapter is called the second example. And I think you know what to expect now. I do more blind text, just or dummy text if you will, to, to fill the document. And then I have my two sections here. And so this section is more examples. And then we have more blind text. And then we have our last section here, and we're gonna call that last example. And then we have more blind text, like so. And so that's what we have for here. So we've done two chapters. Each chapter has two sections. And the sections are filled with just dummy text, blank nonsense text that has no meaning but we're, we're using that text for the purpose of being able to see what an actual document will look like. Now, uh, one other thing I need to mention is that notice how, you know, for the chapter in the sections, I put the, the title of that section or that chapter inside the curly braces. Table of contents does not have any kind of argument that you have to include. You just use the simple command and after that you leave it blank. No curly braces, no square brackets, period. So it appears that my document is ready. Now, to see what it looks like, I need to click on the little green button here up in the upper left-hand corner, and you can see this is my document that I just made. Um, so I have the contents here, chapter one, section one, one, section one, two, chapter two, section two, one, section two, two, just like so, as in the example I made before the video. And then right here, I have my actual chapter, my two sections, and then we move to the next chapter and then we have the final sections. So the beauty of this is that if you make any changes to your document, you move things around, you add more pages, whatever, the table of contents will automatically update. That saves a lot of time if you like to write a lot of larger documents. There is an automatic table of contents inside Microsoft Word. Hmm, well, but it's mm, not the best and it sometimes can be difficult to update it because the headings get messed up and the paragraphs get combined with the headings, it's, it's a problem. But with LaTeX, the headings stay clean and clear and the table of contents is always beautiful. It's great. So, in this video, we looked at how to make a table of contents. This is not really that complicated because if you look, all you simply do is you add this command or this declaration right here and then you type your document like you would normally do. Now in the example in this video, we use a lot of the blind text or the dummy text, if you will. But of course, if you make an actual real book or a real article, you will have real headings and you will be able to put in these different sections. Now one thing I need to mention that I forgot to mention is that articles cannot have chapters. Articles can only have sections and subsections and sub-subsections, etc. So that's one difference between a book and an article. But the rest of the ideas that are presented in this video apply whether you're writing an article or a book. So we hope that this video was useful for you and that you were able to understand the concepts that were presented. Thank you for watching.